I've got some broken bread pre blah, 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 broken bed done I've got to drain the fat out of it and then pour spaghetti sauce on top. Spaghetti? Spaghetti, yes. Is that like spaghetti? No, it's different. <laughs> Greetings! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with H. In today's episode, we are going to be making something which I think might be a bit of an American staple. I've heard a lot about it, never tasted it. It's meatloaf. Oh, meatloaf. Not the singer. But I won't do that. Now what we're going to do today is we're actually going to have a meatloaf off. So we've got two recipes from two of our subscribers, different states, completely different recipes, and we're just going to try them both and see which one we prefer. Excellent. Sounds good to me. Let's get on with the cooking. Right, so our first meatloaf is from Gina, and Gina is in Virginia. So this meatloaf, it tells me to saute some onions with a bit of thyme, which I've done already. Once I've put that small onion in with the thyme, mix it in with a bit of salt and pepper, and then add it and all the other ingredients into the ground beef. So in with this, we have got one small onion, one teaspoon of fresh thyme, three tablespoons of Worcester sauce and a tablespoon of tomato paste. I've got that here. Chuck that in as well. Then I've got two and a half pounds of ground beef. Again, I've had to convert all this into grams, etc. And we've got some breadcrumbs. Not sure whether I should mix this or whether I should with my hand or do it with the spoon. I have gone slightly less with the ingredients than it says because we're having a meatloaf off. I'm not going to make two massive portions of meatloaf for Mr. H and I to eat for tea. So we're just having a bit of a bath, aren't we, baby? Oh, I've also got some stock or broth in there. I'm hoping this looks right. With this particular meatloaf as well, we're going to be making some individual small meatloafs. Whereas with the other recipe, we're going to be putting it in a meatloaf tin. I've never had meatloaf, have you, Mr. H? I have. Oh, <gasps> you have? My mum used to make it as, as, like a roast. Oh, you've had like English? Yeah, meatloaf, yeah. I've never Red had meatloaf. And veg. So it's not just an American thing then? This will probably be a bit different, but oh. yeah, my mum used to make meatloaf. Well, I never. I've never had meatloaf. Very nice. Right. That was an egg, sorry, going in. I'm guessing to bind it all. So I've got it all mixed. If this is all there is to it, then this is actually quite an easy thing to make. So I can imagine why it'd be a popular staple in kitchens. Right, I've got some parchment paper and then I've got to mould this into it says about six individual meatloaves, but we're probably only going to get about three out of this because I've made less. So I'll, we'll just see how big they turn out. Now, I'm not sure if this is the way to do it. Disclaimer, I have cleaned my hands. You want in on the action? You cleaned your hands as well? Wipe your hands. Good girl. I'm trying to get a bit of a loaf shape. What do you reckon? You're like, no idea? I've not seen it done like this. I've seen it done in a tin. That's what the other recipe is, a tinned one. I'm hoping I'm doing this right, and I'm hoping I'm not butchering your recipe, Gina. Feel free to have a go at me if I do. Let us know down in the comments below as well if you've got a different meatloaf recipe. I will post both these recipes in the pinned comments so you can see how yours differ. And let us know if you like meatloaf or whether you don't like meatloaf. I've got a little bit left over, so I'm just going to make this one a bit of a bigger one. Hope that stays together. So then that needs to go into the oven. Oh no, I've missed a step. I need to spread ketchup over each one and bake for approximately 45 minutes. Spread ketchup. Did you have ketchup on yours or don't you now? No. I don't know if I've got too much, not enough ketchup. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ketchup on your meatloaf and if I need more. But if you do like us trying your American food, which is what we aim to do, then please drop this a like. And if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Right, meatloaf one, done. I'll put that in the oven at the same time I put the other one in so they're ready about the same time. Meatloaf two is from Kaz. Now, Kaz is originally from Nevada, currently living in Utah. So I'm guessing this one's from Nevada, but Kaz, you'll have to let me know as well. So this one is this grandmother's meatloaf recipe. And to start with, I've got some broken bread pieces. 
I've got parsley, I've got salt and pepper, and I've got some sage seasoning. I'm going to add in, this one says hamburger, but I'm going to use ground mince again. I hope that's okay, Kaz, but I'm going to do that now. So I've chucked all that in. Mix it up in a bowl and put it in a baking dish. I'm, I'm just going with the hands for this one. I need to add an egg in as well. Again, I will post this one so you can let me know if this recipe is a bit more like the recipe that you use. I may have actually made my breadcrumbs a bit big, but I believe with meatloaf as well. I think everyone's got their own version and own variations. So I think everyone does things a little bit differently. It's like one of those things, I suppose, a bit like a stew or a soup where you get all these regional differences. And then this one, we just put in a baking dish. So I did lightly grease a loaf tin. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, lightly grease it, but I didn't want it to stick, so I've taken the opportunity and just done that myself. I think my dish might be a bit big. I think my dish might be a little bit big for the amount of meat in this, but let's just go with it. Just gonna wash my hands, because there is one more step on this one. Okay, step three on this one is optional. Now, I think when I give Mr. H the option, it's not gonna be optional. It's gonna be something he definitely wants on it. And it says to line uncooked bacon strips on top of the meatloaf. So this one, it's got bacon. Now, I did go for streaky bacon, because our bacon's a little bit different from the bacon that you guys traditionally have over there. So I thought streaky bacon was more like the American bacon. Again, let me know if I've done that wrong. But I like the idea of this already, don't you? Mm. So we just do that, and then we've got to bake that as well. There is another step for this one. When it's done, I've got to drain the fat out of it and then pour spaghetti sauce on top. Spaghetti? Spaghetti, yes. Is that like spaghetti? No, it's different. It's spaghetti, it's... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> it should be spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to put that one on, put them both in the oven, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's get these bad boys in the oven. So we're leaving, Gina's in for 45 minutes and Kaz is in for about an hour, but I'm going to check them both after about 30 minutes. Right, we're ready to take Kaz's one out of the oven and drain off any fat, which I don't reckon there is a lot. But it looks tasty, so you stay there while I drain off fat. Yeah! Right, the fat has been drained. So I'm just going to pour the spaghetti sauce on top. I don't know if that's too much, not enough, but let's just go with it. And then we've got to pop that back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, you can join me in a minute. I've got to put this back in the oven. Right, we're ready to take these out of the oven and see what's happened. Oh, wow. So these are the little individual loaves. I think they've uh, burnt a little bit. This is from Gina from Virginia, yeah? That's correct. Lovely. So let's pop those there. And then we have Kaz's meatloaf. So Kaz is from Utah, but this is Grandma's recipe so from Nevada. Well, Kaz is originally from Nevada, so that's what I'm assuming. Okay, brilliant. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to serve these up. These nice little meatloaves. So these are the little individual ones. Can I have your plate, please? Yep. No pleasure. <laughs> if you do notice, it is quarter past seven at night. Baby H has had her dinner. Yeah. So she will not be it. enjoying the taste test. Cheers. Now, I've managed to get this one on a plate now. Let's uh, give you a little sample of this. Would you rather have the end or yeah, the middle yeah, bit? Whatever. So that's this one. You. If you would like to see us do more videos like this, let us know by liking this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Which one should we do first? I th I'm going to say, um, let's try Gina's first because yep. I made that one first. Okay. Mm, here we go. Hopefully it's not too hot. Don't burn your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 
Yeah, lovely. Mmm. Mmm. That, that is really nice. That is nice, yeah. Mm. The flavours as well, you can really taste the thyme, can't you, in mm. that one? It works really well. Gina, thank you so much yeah. for this recipe. I just love the consistency of it. Right, should we try a bit of Kaz's now? Yep, yep. Make sure you try and get some bacon as well. Yeah, don't worry about that. Mmm. Mm. That's also nice. I've got to have a bit more of this one. They do taste different though, don't they? Mm. And I know that obviously more tomato, more tomato one, with yeah. the spaghetti sauce. Mm. Mm. If I'm honest, they're both really nice. Have you got a favourite? Because we were doing a meatloaf off. It was to decide which kind of flavour we like better. I'll be honest, and I'm not just saying that, but they're both of them. They're very different tasting, aren't they? Mm. What I like about the recipe from Gina is that you can taste all the seasoning. Yeah. What I like about Kaz's one, I particularly like the bacon and the tomato sauce. Yeah. But I would say, I'm not sure if I've done Kaz's one justice, because I might not have put enough seasoning in. But at points time, I'm going to give them both 9 out of 10. Okay. I've really enjoyed that and I'm going to carry on eating. Recipe wise, I think that they both taste fantastic. Would I have meatloaf again? Yes, I would. Mm. Do I think he's up there with some of the other recipes that we've tried? No. Oh, wow. Just because, I don't know, it, it doesn't like chicken fried steak. That was like whoa, something that we've never had before. Mm. It's not my favourite American recipe, but I do really like it. Point I'm going. Sorry, I'm gonna go. Eight for Gina's and seven for Kaz's. Oh, wow. Only because, as well, Kaz, I don't think I did you justice on the seasoning. Just a quick plug, if you would like to support the channel even more, check out our Patreon link in the comments below for behind the scenes. Special guests on Zoom calls as well. We actually had Lawrence Brown from Lost mm. the Pond. Free merch and much, much more. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you on the next video.